Welcome back to MoGraphLess.com. In this lesson, we'll learn about IOR files or complex IOR data. So let's select this material, IOR files, and open it using our MXED. So if you take a look at your BSDF, up here we have this IOR and at the moment is set to custom. So that simply means you can control your frequency 0, 90, transmittance, NDK, and this data, the AB value, and R2. But also you have another type of IR which is measured data. When you select this measured data, you can see you no longer have access to these uh, parameters and you have to specify a complex IOR files. So you select, click on this folder here. And now as you can see, you have a huge set of complex IOR files. Each of these files have a lot of information uh, concerning uh, reflectance, ND, uh, dispersion, and they're very, very accurate. Uh, these files basically have the exact index of refraction for each wavelength of a material. Also, they describe the optical properties of a material to the highest degree of accuracy. Uh, they are uh, really realistic, but uh, they're going to increase your render time uh, and at the other hand, you stuck with what you have. I mean, uh, there is no customization. You just select a file and you need to uh, use this. Uh, you can still control the roughness, the anisotropy, bump, uh, and uh, subsurface scattering data, but uh, the main uh, properties of a material like reflectance 0 and 90, ND, K, app, uh, they are gone. So let's go ahead and select one of these guys. You can see you have uh, all types of material and this are very exact data. Let's go, maybe let's search for glass here. So as you can see, we have different types of glass and let's maybe use this glass Swarovski and change the stage here and update it and see what's gonna happen. And now you obviously need to reduce the roughness to the amount that you want. Let's go to something like 15 here. And that is what we have. Let me just reduce this wallet to something like 5. And let's save this and apply it to our object and see what's going to happen. I'm just going to start my fire and show you the result after it's done. So I rendered it for a few seconds and this is the result that we yet let me just uh, show you a few other examples here let's go select this folder again now let's search for example for copper and here we have this copper let's go to something like 20 for the roughness and update it here so that's what we have let me just close save and let's refresh our fire and see what's going to happen. So as you can see, we are getting a very realistic and accurate result, but the drawback is it's going to increase your render time and there is no customization. Uh, there is no way I can increase the reflection amount of this uh, copper. I mean, there is no way to do anything really. So if you need a very specific type of material that you can find the data for it, in your uh, IR files, uh, use it. But if you want more customization and you don't have time for long renders, definitely you should use your custom IR set. So let me just uh, stop this. Just open it using the MXED again. Let's see. You can see there is everything. You can find a lot of exact measurements for different stuff. Um, here you have this Ruby blood let me just go ahead and use it and decrease the roughness and let's update it so this is what you get let me just save it and start the fire again so here is our result and as you can see it's really desirable and accurate but uh, it's going to take a long time to render this accurately and now we are rendering in fire so there is no uh, caustic going on here uh, and possibly if we rendered it in our uh, core rendering application it would have taken uh, more time and still have a lot of noise but as you can see measured data 
uh, contain a lot of information and if you are looking for something really really accurate and realistic you can use this data but if you are you can see there is no customization at all but if you want a bit more uh, customization you obviously need to change your IR type to custom so that's about the measured data and complex IR files Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. It was a free sample from our comprehensive introduction to Maxwell Render for Cinema 4D course. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out.